what is cpa like we have in india chartered accountants us chartered accountants are basically known as cpas certified public accountants now how many papers does cpa exam consist of so if you see the latest cpa 2024 content the cpa exam consists of four papers which is financial accounting reporting auditing and attestation regulation and the fourth paper is the discipline paper so when i tell discipline paper what does that mean so in the fourth paper you have a choice between three more papers so out of those three you need to write only one paper so what are those three electives which we call it or in the us it is known as disciplines so these are business analysis reporting information system and controls tax compliance and planning so out of these three you need to select only one subject right so that's the biggest news of 2024 so this is how the structure of cpa exam is so unlike in india we have 20 papers here in the us the cpa exam which is popularly the us chartered accountancy exam does not contain so many papers and so many levels so it's a single level exam with only four papers and 50% is multiple choice questions and 50% is case law oriented question or popularly known as simulations So this is how CPA exam is. It's a completely online exam. The exams are conducted all over the year. In 2024, you have specific windows. So discipline exams are not conducted in the last month of every quarter. So like January, February, the exams are there. May, June, the exams are there. Again, October, November exams are there. So this is how discipline exams are being structured. And the remaining, the core exams like FAR, Audit, and Reg. Reg is popularly the US tax subject. these three subjects are being conducted throughout the year except for saturdays and sundays what is the eligibility for the cpa exam so now this process is little complex right like in india if you are a chartered accountant or if you are going for cfa or acca the eligibility is quite easy you just go in after inter plus 1 plus 2 after your 10th and then you straight away become eligible while pursuing your graduation but in the us graduation is compulsory so you need to ensure that you finish your graduation then only you will become eligible. eligible for the cpa exam else you are not eligible to sit for the cpa exam you need a minimum of 120 credits so what are credits every year of your graduation is converted into certain number of units known as credits so first year of your graduation gives you 30 second year gives you 30 third year gives you 30 so overall you have 90 credits and us follows a 16 year education system means graduation is 4 years in the us and in india it is only 3 years thereby making you shortage of 30 credits to sit for the cpa exam and that's one of the reason even if you are bcom you don't need to worry you can still sit for the cpa exam provided you register with our bridge course so that bridge course is by simander education in order to help you bridge the gap of 90 and 120 it's a similar program what you have in cpa just that you need to register for that program and don't need to wait for the program to complete you will become straight away eligible with that bridge course itself so even if you are a bcom you can still sit for the cpa exam now sir what about if i am a bcom plus ca inter cma inter or company secretary inter So if you have done half CA, half CMA, half CS also, you get 30, 30 credits. So you don't need to do any bridge course if you have a BCom plus CA inter, BCom plus CMA inter, or BCom plus ICWA inter, because CA inters, ICWA inter, or or CS inter gives you 30 credits. So 90 comes from BCom, 30 comes from your CA, CMA, or CS, and that makes you 120 and helps you to sit for the CPA exam. So what about if I am a qualified chartered accountant? Then though it's a amazing news even if you are just a chartered accountant you don't need a graduation in that case so it's an exception if you are a chartered accountant you can still sit for the cpa exam without graduation in certain state boards but it's very important that you contact our team in order to ensure that if you are eligible or not because we are one of the experienced training institute today in the country with over 9 years and having four elija watsels award so we always want to check your education document and then only let you know if you are eligible for the cpa exam or not Now, what is the cost of the CPA exam? Now, the advantages are so many of CPA course. So, the overall cost of the CPA exam contributes to around like two lakh seventy-eight to two lakh eighty thousand INR. So, let's break up each and everything. First comes the CPA examination cost, which is almost three hundred and fifty dollars per paper. So, four papers come to three fifty into four, which is almost closer to fourteen forty dollars, which is closer to one lakh ten thousand or so. Then you have international testing fees. Say if you write the exam in India, you need to pay an additional fifteen sixty dollars, which is per paper it comes around three ninety dollars is your international testing fees. So that also comes around one lakh twenty to one lakh twenty five thousand. Then you have the evaluation fees. Like I said, we need to test whether you are eligible or not, and you need to send the 
documents to NASBA or to any of your evaluation agency who will let you know whether you have 120 or not. So for that, they will charge you $225. Then finally, which comes is the application fees, which is $130, which is one time. So overall cost, which comes around is 280,000. But then again, you can divide this by four. So the first initial investment, if I would say is 70,000, and then you have the CPA training cost and all which Simandar or any institute charges, which also ranges from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 20,000. So overall cost, if you see 4 lakhs should be your total investment on the CPA course. Now, if you compare that, that to an MBA, which almost cost around 10 lakhs to 12 lakhs, and then there is no job offers, but at least in CPA, you're just spending around 4 lakh. The return on investment is extremely high when compared to an MBA or an Indian accounting degree, because then you have huge jobs in the India and in the US. There are a lot of US companies who have come to India. And the reason is obviously because India is expanding globally. There's huge shortage of talent everywhere. And considering that India has so much of population and so many US companies here have opened their offshore locations like Deloitte, EY, KPMG, PwC. You have Accenture, you have Grant Thornton, you have RSM, Citrin Cooperman. So there are so many US based firms here. Then you have a lot of investment banks also like Standard Chartered, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. There are so many US based companies here in India who are hiring for this qualification. So the ideal starting package, I would say of a CPA ranges around eight and a half to 10 lakhs and sometimes over 10 lakhs also. Typically we tell that majority of the time a CPA would earn up to 10 lakhs. But again, it varies from the candidate to candidate and how he performs in the interview you and all but nevertheless cpa is one of the most amazing courses one more biggest benefit of cpa what i've seen is if you're a us cpa and if you have passed the exam in india there's a reverse mou with cpa canada cpa australia cpa scotland cpa singapore so by default you will get recognized in all these countries because of this reverse mous so you don't need to write a single exam of CPA Canada or CPA Australia or anything, just because of CPA USA, you will get degrees of all over the countries. So having said that, it is one of the largest member body association in the world. So that's where I would say that CPA is one of the top qualifications to watch out for. Now, what is the role of Simandar Education here? So we are the official partners of Becker Professional Education. Uh, so we do provide the Becker study material. Apart from that, we have our live classes from our faculties, including me. So all are CPA qualified and all. And I strongly believe that one must register with an institute where the founder himself is in CPA. I think this is where you need to check out when you're registering for the CPA course understand how older the institute is and do check the demo lectures and the demo software and all and then take an informed decision. Now we are the only institute in India currently who's having four Elijah Watt Cells award. So typically this award is given to a student who scored 95.5 out of 100 across all the four sections on an aggregate. And this award is typically given to out of 100, 1 lakh students all over the world. 40 people get this award. Out of that, four times some other students have achieved that. So we have a very high pass percentage of 90%. Nevertheless, I think it's up to the students to decide which institute is better for them. Apart from just not having being the award winning institute, the biggest asset for a student is the placement support of some other education. As you know, we are connected with almost all the CFOs in the country today. We are tied up with almost 150 plus US based companies here in India. We have been aggressive in placing our students and we think that every student placed uh, I think the entire family gets settled, right? So just not about the final placements, even on the internships also, we do provide a lot of support. So whenever you are registering, do check out for these things also with our recruitment team. Again, we do not give any guarantees, but definitely we will support you into 100% end-to-end support in evaluation and application and even in licensing as well. So because there are very few institutes who have expertise in CPA license. So when I tell CPA license, if you want to put beside your name, Sripal Jain CPA, you need to have a minimum of 150 credits. So to, to sit for the exam, you need 120. To get the license, you need 150. So licensing services, I think Simanda is the only institute currently who's doing that flawlessly. So then comes the CPA license. Now, what is a CPA license? Like if you want to put beside your name, Sripal Jain CPA, you need to have a license. So to sit for the CPA exam, you need 120 credit and you can sit and you can get a job and all those stuff. So job tak to theek hai. Now what about getting a license here? Now if you want to open your own CPA firm or if you want to put beside your name, you need one year of work experience. So a lot of students get confused, oh, then uh, I should get job first, uh, then only I'll get license, nothing like that. The moment you pass, if you get the congratulatory letter from the board, you can apply for the jobs, you'll get the job. But if you want to apply for license, you need one year 
work experience which is mandatory it can be pre or it can be post qualification uh, anything is fine but you need a one year work experience and along with that you need a 150 credits to get the license apart from that you'll also need to write an ethics exam which is again an open book exam and all those stuff so getting a license is not such a big thing but then again there are very few institutes who have experience in cpa licensing services we are the only institute currently who is doing that including myself being a licensed cpa who signs for for n number of candidates so cpa licensing i would say guys is very different from like indian chartered accountants are because in chartered accountants you will have something called as cn practice cn members in the us there is no concept of cn practice or cn members so if you are working in an industry or if you are having your own cpa firm either of that you need to have the license which is a mandatory thing to get a more information do visit www.simandareducation.com take the demo and take an informed decision thank you so much this was sripal jain co-founder of simandare education signing off Thank you.